Hi, I'm Hope Cohen. This is the Fret's Kitchen. We're with Jose Andres of Haleo Restaurant in Washington, D.C. Welcome to the Fret's Kitchen. Thank you very again. much. Very happy to be here again. Happy to have you. Good. Let's go. Well, we have a lot of things to cook today. I know. We're going to have to start moving here. I see a lot of really favorite ingredients. Potato chips, lobster, garlic, tuna. Yes, let what's me tell up? you what, what's happening. I'm, I'm writing a cookbook. Hopefully it'll be published next year. Great. Uh, Clarkson Potter. And uh, the book is about tapas. Um, Beautiful. And not only about tapas in Spain, but how to make tapas and Spanish cooking in America today with ingredients you find in America. So we're going to do three dishes out uh, there going to be in this Love book. Love tapas. Let's go. Let's go. Where do we then, start? Well, right here we have, uh, as you see, these are the ingredients of gazpacho, huh? the popular oh, tomato soup that is so traditional in the South. But today what we're going to do is not the traditional soup that you drink, but we're going to make the same ingredients into a salad. Mm. And that's going to be great. And we're going to do it with Spacho tuna. salad. We're going to show people how to make, uh, you know, canned tuna that sometimes it seems like something bad. In Spain, canned tuna is something oh. In Spain, you pay great. extra for the cans. And you pay a lot for it because it's top quality good and it's, it's really good stuff. And what we're going to be doing today is probably kind of your own canned tuna in olive oil. Okay? Great. And then we're going to do uh, a lobster. We have great lobsters in Maine. <gasps> and let alive. me tell you, in, 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 in northern Spain, in Galicia, we have octopus, which is usually boiled with potatoes. And then... That's traditional octopus and potatoes. You serve it in a plate with some paprika and olive oil and mm. salt. We're going to take the octopus out, and we're going to do it with lobster. And you're going to see how in seven minutes you have an unbelievable dish. So you're taking a traditional Spanish dish and you're giving it a little American kick. Yes, because if you you're want using to call our, it. Well, you're using our ingredients. A which... New England kind of approach, uh, okay. main approach. By and way of Washington, D.C. By Washington, <laughs> D.C. And then we're going to do something that I can say is very Spanish, but at the same time very, very from my area. Here um, in Middleburg, we have these potato chips. Middleburg, Virginia, horse country. I've which, been there. It's beautiful. Which I love them. And I'm going to show mm. you one of the most traditional tapas that um, you, you can make in Spain, which is the traditional potato omelet with onion and eggs. In every tapas bar, they have it. Yes, but Everyone the, makes it differently. But this can take you half an hour between you peel, you fry the potatoes. Let's and I'm going to show you how to do this right away. I'm Let's ready. go. We're, We're going to probably start here with the pipirana. You're going to help me with the cucumber. Sure. You know how to peel? I do. Hey, by now. I can, I can do that. After so many TV shows <laughs> and cooking shows, better be. And here we have... Uh, I perfected the art as a child. <laughs> <laughs> here we have the pepper. Uh, these beautiful plates. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Manor, yeah. home, and gifts. All of the things on the set are from them, and they ship all over the world. So if you like anything here, I'll give you the number. <laughs> you can order them. They're really beautiful, I can tell you. Okay, you. we have the, the cucumber. Here we have the pepper. That smells great, red pepper. Here we're gonna cut the walls of the tomato. Yeah. We're gonna, you see the tuna, yeah? Here we I have see. the piece. And you have a block, what type of tuna are you using? This is another trick question or, or, <laughs> or what? No. Well, you can use any tuna is out there from okay. yellow fish. Whatever, whatever is the, the freshest, best. nice red. Okay. Uh, tuna that you find in the market. That, okay. That'd be great. This is two trick questions by now, huh? and we are only five minutes I'm into the show. I, I'm sorry, no more so, trick questions. That's okay. I forgive you. Okay. okay. You see here we have 139 degrees Fahrenheit. This it, is an oil and candy thermometer. Here we have, here we have oil. Well, it used to be a candy thermometer. Now we made it into a oil thermometer. Okay. So we're gonna add some garlic. This is olive oil. Olive oil. Spanish olive oil. It's, is there any other olive oil at all? No, that's why I was just letting people know yeah. in case they made the mistake of thinking it Correct. might have come from somewhere else. <laughs> no, but if, if it's olive oil from anywhere else, let me know because I, I don't know about it. So, that, that was a joke. I got it. Okay. <laughs> then black peppercorns here, bay leaf. And then we're going to... That's a beautiful fresh bay leaf. Fresh has a more aromatic, more aromatic... Makes a huge difference. Say. Here we're going to introduce the tuna. I grow that. You grow bay leaf? I do. Oh, wow. This is, so you're poaching olive oil, you're olive oil poaching the tuna. Correct. And we're going to mm. leave it like five, six minutes. Yes? I love that method. Okay. And that keeps it really moist and delicious. It's and a great way. We're going to try to keep it 140, if it's 135, 145, but around the 140 area. Okay? Cutting 
the pepper, the tomatoes. Man, this is start looking good. It's, it already smells amazing. Here we have some baby tomatoes that we can use cut and also add Ooh. like few whole ones. They're huge. Yeah, well, actually I say baby, and you say they're huge. Well, what happened, they are baby romas. Uh -huh. Which they are smaller than the say, big romas. Because for teardrop, they would be large, but for romas, they're small. But whatever they are, they're great looking. We're gonna grab probably a spoon from there. Okay. And then look at olive oil, you see? Olive oil. From Spain. Of course, is nice. there any other olive oil? <laughs> We're gonna obviously give the recipe after to everyone watching the show, but with these things, the best is used to use your common sense. It's better than any recipe we're gonna be able to give. I'm gonna then this up and check some it olive out. oil and then some vinegar. Mm. You see? And what kind of vinegar? This one, sherry, made out in the south of Spain, made from in Jerez de la Frontera. And this is the vinegar made out of the sherry, the wine. Which, which I which love. Is, it's got great it's flavor. It's, it makes my mouth water when I think about it. For summer, it's the best vinegar because it's the acidity used. And it's got that woody so flavor. It's got a lot of depth of flavor. It's not just acidic. You see? Mix mm. in the bowl. Maybe more salt in case. This is at 141. You just leave it. Right. And then if imagine. If it starts to drop, then you put it back on the flame, right? Correct. Use more or less is a game. And, and then it's. It's getting mm. temperature again. It's gonna be sometimes between eight or ten minutes. We're not even gonna wait. But what we do is it becomes soft, it Beautiful. becomes warm. And then we can get right here mm. and cut one or two slices. See, it's almost getting there. What you want more or less is that the inside temperature of the tuna is gonna be also around 140. Warm, so it's it warm. Just warm up and. But it's not raw anymore. It's used to achieve a different kind of uh, texture in the mouth, which is really unique. And this is like the best canned tuna in the world. Can meaning that you cook it in olive oil and you can keep it in the refrigerator. And you can keep it in the refrigerator. You can do this at home and keep it in your refrigerator for, oh. what, I think like a week. Uh, if you cover it, leave it covered on the oil. Make yes. sure the oil covers it. And then you right. take it out and put it in a salad. It's delicious. And a little bit of salt. Pipirana of tuna. Wow. That's it? That's it. This is a great salad to start Simple. a summer a summer day. Let's Beautiful. go for next dish, yes? Okay, next. Here we have the potato. On to the next. I'm moving fast. Potato. One. Potato. Whole. I think One whole potato. Idaho potato. We are with time restraints, probably we're gonna cut it in four or five pieces. And you're gonna put them into the Does water. it matter what the slices no. look like? Whatever you cut is gonna be you're you gonna, just wanted to give cook. you a blessing. You want to bless. Whatever you do is right. You wanted to cook more quickly. Yes. Evenly. Okay. Yeah. But sometimes it's good to put them whole, and you know, in seven eight minutes they're boiled. So four pieces is good. That's perfect. Then put in there. <laughs> I've been blessed. <laughs> Oof. Two, three, four. Good. We put again some bay leaf. I love bay leaf, and some black peppercorns. Potatoes are boiling. Okay. And we're gonna do. The three minutes. The bay leaves smell so great. I mean, they really perfume the air. Yes. The three minute potato chips omelet, okay? Got it. Yeah. I have to check them out. You said that they're really good. Okay. Let's see what happened, okay? Because they're very crunchy. Well, they are. Those are mm. not boiled, not fried in olive oil, but they are fried in very good peanut oil. They are really nice. They're, they're really, really good. tasty. Opening the eggs. Yes, we're gonna one. In can the you, potato chips. Can you do this? I can do that. Let's see. Show me. Show it to me, baby. All right. Right in? Except there's a shell in the bowl. Is that from me or is that from before? Hey, hey, hey. Don't blame me, okay? <laughs> Don't blame me, okay? I, 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 have, I have the tape to prove that it's, it's you, okay? My goodness. Let's, let's rewind. Between the questions you are asking me today and now blaming me for I'm the shell. I'm not going to get invited back. The, <laughs> my goodness. I'm going to have to talk to the producer. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay. Perfect. Seven, okay? Seven? Seven. Six, seven. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. Uh, what, what happened? Uh, is, is, you don't like the recipe? No, it's good. Oh, well, it seems you're complaining all the way. What, I'm what's not happening complaining. with you? I, I thought you and I we had a. You, you like me or something. I mean, you keep inviting me to the show. and. I'm okay. not complaining. Potatoes are boiling. They're going well. The salad is resting on the other side. Of the eggs are cracking. Kitchen. The eggs and, and the I shells. Am too. <laughs> and the shells are cracking. Exactly. One, one more. two, three, six. four, five, six. Yeah, one more. Okay. How am I doing? 
Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep my opinion for later, <laughs> after the show. Okay. All right. So Done. I hope I didn't put too many potatoes because uh, this is no excuse, but this is a recipe is still on the development phase. So this is R&D? And, 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 and <laughs> Research here, and design. In front of everyone, we are showing the audience. You're bearing your soul. No, I'm not. But, you know, I'm showing people how... The cooking pressure, is, uh, the pressure is intense. But I want to show people that sometimes cooking is used more than the recipe is used about in instinct. How do you call it in English? In instinct. Instinct. Yeah, my English is getting better. Good. So I think it's looking good. And but my then, Spanish is getting better. <laughs> yeah, you say my, the name of my restaurant after three years, right? For the first time. Actually, this is good. I'm impressed. I need some tutoring. <laughs> so. I'm going back to Spain. <laughs> let's find a fork over here. Okay, so look at what's happening. The potatoes start absorbing the are moist. Are dehydrated potatoes. They're are becoming, they are hydrating, I guess. Exactly, with the oh egg. My God. Yes, the Honey. water, the water of the egg is used, adding water back to the potatoes. Egg and, water. And slowly they are, they become, they start getting. It's like potato chip French toast. <laughs> to a degree it is. And then we're gonna wait a little bit longer. And in the meantime, we're going to get... So the, you're just waiting the for them to, to get really soft with yes, the egg? Yes, yes. Careful, this was hot. I just, I burned myself. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a chef can burn his hand too. You're not Be the careful. only ones. No, because everyone thinks that cooks, chefs, we are something of supernatural in the kitchens, and it's all the contrary. More often than not, we are not used to do certain things every day, because, you know... We, we are more calling the shots more than doing the stuff. And when we, Excuse me, but could you go and get that out of the when oven? We, <laughs> go, we go into the kitchen, sometimes everyone is looking at us over the shoulder like, ha, you see, chef doesn't know how to do it, no? And it's kind of funny to see everyone checking how, how badly you cook sometimes. I no? find that hard to believe. So, well, believe it, believe it. So, here we have the pan. This is a, like eight inches. One, two, three, four, eight. Non-stick. Okay? Non-stick. But to me, I don't know what happened. Every time I use non-stick, something sticks. So let's see what happened today. So that's why you have the olive oil. <laughs> on top of. It's a little, something a little bit more. On top of. Then, can you pass me the potatoes? Yes. Are you ready for them? I think. The whole thing? No, the whole, those. Oh, these. Yeah, those are potatoes too. They are chips. I was but thinking the other potatoes. Chips are made out of potatoes. They are. I that's why they're called no, potato they're... chips. Wow. I've got it. So this is going to be our tortilla. You see? See, I, it took me a long time. To, to get it? Yeah, yeah that I got it. That, that happens. It, it, it took me a long time myself too, <laughs> to figure out. But you're going to see how amazing this is. Okay, I'm going to put my finger in. A little bit more seasoning. salt. I agree. Okay? I concur. All right, that's good. Okay, let's go, fire. It's starting yeah. to get a little bit of smoke. A little bit more, and look, you look so at you it now. Now it's ready. Oh, yeah. I know You're just looking for an immediate yes, I know gratification. <laughs> another pancake. And then, Good. let's see if this works. And this has only been 10 minutes. Well, so even just, less, like yeah. five, I six. I mean, they're just starting, they're not completely soft. They no, still you have don't want them soft have, all the way. They still have a little crunch. You want a little bit, like the, a little bit of the crunchiness. And now, look at what's going to happen. This is really we're interesting. Gonna, we're going to add. You know, I Beautiful. think I got a smaller pan that I wanted, so I'm not going to add it all. See, look how look puffy. You oh, see? you do that so well. Well, I would. I've been practicing before coming into the show. <laughs> do I make you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> wow. Now, we can bring this a little bit down. I'm going to add a little bit oil in the edges. A little bit. Okay? And it really gives it that crispiness and brownness on the yeah. edges and makes it not stick. <laughs> right. So, two things can happen here. You like the eggs kind of well done to not, cook a living longer. Well done. If you like them juicy inside the omelette, then we're gonna go right there. Another. We're gonna put the plate on top. Let's see if I can do this without breaking the anything. Flip. Oh yeah. Beautiful. And then beautiful. if you want, use a touch of oil, use not much a touch. Look at that. That's a beautiful color. My goodness, yeah. I'm impressed with myself. Look at this. Well done. Yes! Success! Yes! <laughs> I did it! Give me five. Good. <laughs> this way. Okay, this way. Sorry. I, was, I grew up in the Should we keep this here? Uh, yeah, we can. Okay. Actually, you know, we can do this. That's the easy way. These are cool plates, aren't they? They They're come cool. from Mississippi by way of Manor Home and Gifts. 
You like it? Medium rare, you said? Medium rare is perfect. Bingo. Omelette. Beautiful. Potatoes are almost there. We put the lobster. Right in, right in the seasoned water. Right in the seasoned water. This is a pounder, six, seven minutes. Depends. A pounder? About a pound? Six, seven minutes. Bigger, it's more. Smaller, less. Hey, that's not science, okay? Let's go. Let's uh, take it out. Oh my God. It's I think we're going to move it into the cutting board there. Okay, you bring me Can the I plate. Do that for you? Ah! Now, hold on, don't go, the potatoes. Oh, the potatoes, I love oh my potatoes. God. I hope they cook. Mm, I hope so, I think they, they should are. be. They are, they are. Yeah, you can tell and by looking. <laughs> we will not tell. X-ray vision. And the belief, I think it's gonna look good. Great. Then, oh my God, do you see what I see? The cucumber, we forgot to put the cucumber. All that peeling work. Who, who peeled the cucumber? I peeled the cucumber. And you forgot to put the cucumber in. My Tell goodness. me what to do, and I'm there. You're gonna do like you did with the tomato. Okay. One and two slices on each each side, and then you're away gonna from, cut, cut it away in from the seed. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Lobsters are favorite on this show. Good. Oh and you God. like to do it, which is a good I thing. I love lobsters. You can come back anytime. Just bring lobster. <laughs> Listen, back in my country, I mean, the lobsters were something, and still are, very very expensive. When I came here here into the states. You could buy a lobster for five, six, seven dollars. I couldn't believe it. In my country, it will be like 30, 40. It will be something. It's like something that you have on a special occasion, right? If, if, if you have it. And here, you could eat lobster every day. So why, why is it they just don't grow on the coast of Spain? Well, here is this big, uh, you know, farms and this big industry. And in Spain, there are wild, and there are not so many of them, I guess. But that's one of the reasons I say I'm going to stay in America. For the lobster? For the lobster. <laughs> I, you don't believe how many lobsters I ate when I arrived when I was I believe you. Then here, you see, we cut it in pieces. Yes? We cut the potato. Yes. Here we go. If, um, do you like the head too? I do. Oh, I yes. like the whole thing. The head is the best part, actually. It's great. We cut through. One way. The other. Oh my God. It smells so Look good. It smells like the sea. It does. Well, mm. it, besides the lobster very is very nice and very fresh and we add the salt and everything. Here we put one part of the lobster. I love that. I love that the smell. The other part. And this is the good, the good moment now. I'm going to No, bring the good moment is when we put it in our mouth. <laughs> I mean, this is beautiful, but. Pimenton. Oh, of the course. Spa, the Spanish paprika. That. It smells. Very smoky. Smell. I brought that home with me and Look I use it. I love it. We're gonna... It's got great color and great flavor. Very gonna... smoky, a little bit spicy, right? You can get it spicy. You can get it spicy or sweet. I have the spicy stuff. A little bit like. of salt, rock salt, sea salt. Can I put this more. in our salad? Yes, go. Good job, good job. But you forgot the cucumber, not I me. I know. Okay, I wanted to be, make sure. It's all Look my at... fault. I re accept responsibility. Because Look at here, olive oil. Beautiful. Olive oil, baby. Be easy going, you know, keep going. And Generous. Generous, that's the word. Good. Generoso. And then the paprika de pimenton on top. Wow. Okay. This is Beautiful. one dish that you can make in seven, eight minutes. Let's take it down to the end to our Let's go. tasting spot. Okay. You can see, mix and match. <gasps> you see what happened? The little, you hit the little man. <laughs> my God, poor guy. He's Forget been, the guy, what about my elbow? He's been doing nothing on show. you sitting there watching. <laughs> Let's taste. Let's go. Let's see. It's beautiful. Potato chip tor okay. tortilla. How oh, juicy. Juicy or juicy? Juicy. 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 How <laughs> juicy it is. Juicy. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. That's great. Need salt. And, and I think the, the eggs could be cracked better next time. More uh, shells. More, no, no more shells, I think. I'm joking. <laughs> but that's good. That's very good. The one thing about the salad is the vegetables are so beautifully diced. <laughs> who, who, who diced them? I don't know. We I'm, did. Uh, ah, good. Mm. I thought you did. Good. Mm. Fantastic. And so crunchy. And so so nice. simple, simple and delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, they are so crunchy. I think people. The peppers. If people and the could, tuna. could hear how crunchy they are, look at. Mmm. 
I hope people can hear it. <laughs> the crunch. Because it's so much different. All right, I'm ready for the lobster. All right. This is really amazing. Yeah, you have one piece <gasps> out of the shell. Mm. Perfect. Just for me. Thank you. This You're is welcome. really great. Oh, the potatoes are nice and mm. soft. We made it. That's good. Tasty, huh? I'm one happy camper. <laughs> what? The Jose Andres camp of next, lobster. <laughs> next year you will have all these recipes in my new cookbook. This is delicious and I'm looking forward to the cookbook. And our, viewer, our viewers at home can look it up on our website and get the recipe. And you absolutely have to come back because this is fantastic. Watch the show The Chef's Watch, The Chef's Kitchen. Let the nation's top chefs show you how to use gourmet ingredients, inspire you to try this season's freshest selections, and share valuable trade secrets to make you a top chef in your own home. If you have a really sharp knife when we julienne is we actually draw it back. And this allows the knife to do the work for you. If you keep it flat, it can be unevenly cooking, it's too hot. So gather everything down towards the bottom and it'll get nice and perfectly golden brown. Tune in for a preview of new menu items as they launch at your favorite hot spot and learn about the fresh artisanal ingredients they use. I take whole black peppercorns, I take this bottom of the spoon and just rock it. <laughs> How long do they take? Just, just to their brown, they yeah. Insert the oyster knife and it's gonna pop. There is a muscle that attaches the oyster to the shell. I always flip it over like that. And a little pinch more salt, because that's really the key to ceviche. Fresh fish, fresh ingredients, and the right balance of acid and salt. Watch the Chef's Kitchen to keep up with today's culinary trends and techniques.